Back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are here in a simulation out at the launch pad with our RA9 with the Norseman lander on top. We're going to do a full, uh, basically a systems check. Uh, get it up into orbit, make sure that the uh, orbiter works fine, make sure that the deorbit de stage works okay. Uh, we probably won't get all the way through re-entry due to the time constraint, but uh, the important parts are all about uh, what we can do when we're in orbit of Mars. So, uh, let's get the show on the road. We are throttled up, SAS is on, ignition sequence start. All engines are lit, let's get those clamps off. And inching slowly off the pad. I think that's a pretty fairly realistic uh, launch speed. Anyway, uh, Unless there's an engine failure, like there was in our last simulation, uh, I will probably just be speeding this up in post, and we'll get to the important and cool stuff uh, once we are in orbit, so I will see you then. Alright, well, uh, we have jettisoned that stage a bit early. We're going to bring our AJ-10 online. Propellant feed pressure too low. Well, that's a good thing to know. So... <laughs> X for feed pressure. I'm writing these things down in case I screw them up some more. Well, um... That's interesting. That's very, very, very interesting. I'm glad we did this simulation. Very, very, very glad indeed. All right, so. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and, ooh, let's make sure our antenna here is active. It should be. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Activate. And target Earth. I missed it. Earth. There we go. And now the real fun test. Yeah, feed pressure too low. Alright. Decouple that stage. Let's turn our RCS off so that we don't drain these unevenly. I guess, yeah, we'll just go ahead and turn all the tanks on, make sure they all work. This is the part that wasn't working last time during our previous failure. I guess the other stages weren't working either. Okay, good. All four thrusters are firing. That's excellent. And all four engines are go. Brilliant. That is perfect. That's exactly what we needed to see. And that give us about 500 meters per second. Well, probably way less than that. The thrust to weight ratio on that is really, really low, but really we only need it to make some small uh, orbital changes to initiate our deorbit. They might end up helping us with our orbital insertion burn, depending on how all of that stuff goes. And they can also be assisted by these thrusters. Which, uh, yeah, 
gives us about a 20% increase on our total available or our total thrust. Excellent, that's working. Let's go ahead and make sure the ditch on those four work. Boom. And away they go. And this would be our configuration to enter the atmosphere. In which case we can bring these thrusters online. And I don't do a, such a good job of steering this thing with that heavy heat shield on there. That sucks. Alright. Yeah, let's bring it around. Well, we should do a radio comms check. Atmosphere pressure, telemetry, temperature, Geiger, micrometeorite gravity scan. Good, that's all of them. That's everything we're bringing with us this round. Yep, slow it up, slow it up, slow it up, slow it up. Okay. And then uh, heat shield ditch should be next. No connection. Dang it. <laughs> of course not. And it'll probably be many minutes before... Oh, yeah, we're not going to get connection again until Africa. So, these engines all worked last time. We saw that happening. So, I'm just going to assume... God, I hate doing that. I really hate assuming that these things are going to work. I really do. I wish I could decouple this. Ugh. Best we can do is hope. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I oriented this the correct direction, so it will not be blocking that uh, center engine. Uh, if you notice during the build, the other four are offset to hopefully help us with stability during descent. We shall see. But, uh, that's our ground up testing. We do have uh, a feed pressure issue to correct, so I'm very glad we did this and it didn't end up like a certain Jupiter mission that failed miserably so uh hooray this is going to be too dark to use as a screeny so we'll probably just go with uh, one of our liftoff ones but anyway that's going to do it for us today guys uh thanks for hanging out tomorrow's episode launches i promise actual for realsies launches so uh until then i will see all of you later